place welcome back for another value packed video now in today's video we're going to be going over how to grow your only fans fast with tinder in 2022 so let's get into it now if you don't know me my name is ethan bayless i'm the founder of altruist which is an only fans agency where we help creators earn more while working less via custom growth and management strategies and i'm also the ceo of only fans millions which is a consultant program where we actually help other people start that and scale their own OnlyFans agencies to 50k plus per month in 90 days. So all links for that can be found in the description below. So let's get into this video. So you may be asking, why should you use Tinder for OnlyFans? Well, Tinder is actually a fantastic platform because it provides access to a ton of horny guys at scale. So when using Tinder, your pictures are being promoted to thousands of guys all over the world with you not having to do that much providing you have tinder gold and uh you know I, when you start using tinder to grow your own fans i really recommend upgrading to tinder gold it doesn't cost too much and the actual value that you get from it far outweighs the cost so i definitely recommend upgrading now if you correctly optimize your tinder for any fans then you should be able to get at least three to five new subs per day uh, as long as you're utilizing the methods that I'm about to go into. So, you know, three to five subs per day. And then when they join, you can actually make more money from them, providing you've got the good tactics and strategies in place. You know, it can become an absolute gold mine of a platform when it comes to actually scaling your platform, uh, your uh, OnlyFans. OK, so let's get into it. So how to get started with Tinder. Now, when you're getting started on Tinder, you want to make sure to execute the following steps. So number one, of course, you need to download Tinder, the app, create an account add pictures of yourself, craft a bio, link your Instagram, and then verify yourself. So there's six steps you need to execute, and I'm gonna break these down a little bit more for you guys. So it's important to add at least four pictures when setting up your profile, as uh, you know, we've done this a lot for our models, and we've found that there's a direct correlation between the amount of swipes that the model actually receives and how many pictures we have added to the Tinder. Um, so make sure you know you add as many photos as possible because it's going to increase the chances of you getting a swipe from a guy okay and of course the more swipes you get the more subs you end up you're going to end up getting okay so when it comes to crafting your bio we always recommend keeping it short and curiosity invoking uh, so you know here's some examples of some good bios so you got naughty but in a nice way uh, your clothes would look lovely on my bedroom floor jealousy is a terrible disease get well soon you know these sort of uh quick short sweet bios are great for actually you know getting the guy a little bit interested in you making him a little bit horny and uh, making him a little bit curious about where this could lead to uh, so make sure that you just you know take some uh, tips and tricks of the actual foundations of the bio and make sure you kind of implement it in your own fun quirky little way and uh, make sure direct uh, you know it kind of relates to yourself okay and uh, as well as a bio like this you're also going to add your instagram handle in the bio because when guys actually go on your tinder they swipe on you and uh, they then see your actual Instagram, they add you up on your Instagram, and then from there is where they're gonna find your OnlyFans. Because you don't wanna link directly from Tinder because chances are you're gonna end up getting banned. So make sure that you link your Instagram, okay? So when setting up your account, it's also important to adjust your Tinder settings to give you the best possible reach. Uh, so you know, we recommend you know more or less having the max sends. So set your Tinder age range from 22 to 60 plus, and uh, you set your distance preferences to the max number as well because you want as many people as possible seeing your profile uh, so it's important that you have it as broad as possible and we recommend going 22 plus because under that you know they're not very uh, they don't have a lot of money and they're not very uh, you know interested in this sort of stuff okay so make sure you do 22 to 60 okay now promoting on tinder so once the account is set up you should already be starting to receive some likes because the Tinder algorithm is just going to be pushing your actual uh, your profile out. So you should already be receiving these swipes. Now, you know, these likes that you receive will turn into messages. You know, guys will swipe on you. They will end up saying, sending you some weird, funny messages. Um, so you need to just make sure that you, um, you know, that each person you message on Tinder, you push them over to your Instagram. Now, the way we go about doing this is just a quick message saying, you know, I get tons of guys messaging me on this platform. Um, you know, you seem cool, head over to my uh, actual Instagram and we can talk a little bit more. Just a simple message like that is just gonna push them over to your Instagram. So once they're over onto your Instagram, 
what we do is we simply just ignore them. So you're on your Tinder, you're said, you're verified on your Tinder, so they know it's you, and you just say, look, I'll talk to you more on Instagram. So you, they add you on Instagram, and they just get completely aired by you. And uh, this creates a fun dynamic which works really well. Um, so yeah, as I said, once they're over on your Instagram, you simply ignore them, and then you just want to post sexy teasers on your story. So not only do they think they had a shot with you, and they're going over to your Instagram, but once they're on your Instagram, they go to message you and you don't even message them back. And then they see that you're active on your story. And it's important that you have some really sexy teasers on your story because this is going to be making the guy, super, you know, craving you a lot, making him super interested in you, super horny. And uh, if you just do that and then hint at you can talk more on your OnlyFans, then chances are a lot of these guys are going to be going over onto that platform to actually speak to you uh, because they've had a little teaser of what it's like. Um, so yeah, as I said, eventually they'll find your OnlyFans and subscribe to you on there. Now, in order to increase the amount of likes you're receiving, because the more likes you're receiving, the more subscriptions you end up getting. So you want to start off with 20 swipes a day, and then you want to work your way up to 80 swipes per day. That's the sweet spot we've found. So it's important that you stick to that limit. Otherwise, you'll experience a lot of bans on Tinder. You know, this is a big problem for OnlyFans creators, you know. You get banned a lot on Tinder or you get asked to verify a lot and um, you know you want to make sure that you just stick into these limits and these parameters so you, you don't cause any suspicion on Tinder's end so you don't really get banned okay and uh, you know if you do get banned it's a bit of a pain you've got to recreate accounts or sometimes you've got to, you know you'll get multiple phones to actually do this okay so that is this video if you did get some value from this video make sure you hit that like button and that subscribe button comment down below what other type of videos you want me to make if you've got any other questions relating to OnlyFans itself or you're struggling with anything and uh, as always you can always you know contact me further in the description you can join my agency if you're a motivated model you, you know links for that is in the bio and uh, as well as that you can also you know booking a call with myself where we can actually help you grow and scale your very own OnlyFans agency. So I'll see you guys in the next video.